A Utah County teenage girl is heading to the Big Apple to play in one of the world's most prestigious concert halls. We're talking Carnegie Hall to be exact. Yeah, tonight we take you inside the story with Dan Rascone. The story of Faith Nixon, the piano prodigy, right Dan? Yeah, Mark Chana, you know, a lot of hard work we're talking about here that she started when she was just three years old. But if you were to meet Faith, you would never know that this is a gal who has some magical fingers on the keyboard. I like to ride my longboard. Stop by Faith Nixon's home in Orm, and you'll probably find her. I love sports. Outside playing soccer or some other sport. Just your typical 13-year-old girl. That is until you get her inside in front of a piano. Then you begin to see that Faith Nixon is anything but typical. So when it comes to playing the piano, how good are you? I guess good, really good. <laughs> Faith won't admit just how good she is, but over her short career, she's already won more than 20 prestigious awards and played with four symphonies. The first award she won at seven years old. Faith started playing the piano at age three. By age five, she had a solo recital that included 18 memorized pieces. At age nine, she played a Mozart concerto. And recently, she took second place in an international competition called the American Protégé. Her prize? To perform at the world-renowned Carnegie Hall in New York City with the other winners. She is the only Utahn to place and be heading to the Big Apple. I'm so excited. It's a huge opportunity for me. I'm so glad I get to go. I've never been to New York, so I'm excited to go. Famous musicians have played there. So like Rachmaninoff, Long Long. So if I'm playing there, it's a pretty big thing. The number she'll be playing is called Chopin Fantasy Impromptu. It's a five minute piece that she's been practicing for two years and includes 15 pages of very complicated looking notes. How do you get your fingers to move so fast? Practice, different drills. If you play in Carnegie Hall, then you've arrived. Amanda is face mom. You know music yourself. Mm -hmm. How long have you been playing? So I started piano when I was seven, and I graduated from BYU with a master's in music and piano performance. Amanda was also Miss Utah 1995, and played the piano and won the talent portion in the Miss America contest. Get Amanda and Faith together, you have an incredible piano duo. All this talent came with a lot of hard work. It's been years that gotten me to this point, and I've just practiced and practiced. A young gal who is not only a great player, but also a great performer. I just love performing. I love performing in front of people. It's so exciting, and I just love getting into it. Yeah, she definitely gets into it, fills her music there. Faith is going to be playing at Carnegie Hall this Friday evening. This will be her first time to New York City, and we wish her, of course, the best of luck in performing. She hopes to one day possibly study at Juilliard, so she could be spending a lot more time in New York. For more information on this story and other Inside the Stories, go to our website, KUTV.com, click on Features and Inside the Story. But boy, those fingers, just pretty magical. Well, yeah, phenom, <laughs> yeah, exactly. to say the least. That's right. right.